the Cowboys get it done here in Las Vegas. Allegiant Stadium 27 to 12 the final and the Cowboys get it done on the road. Let's just emphasize that on the road in the second preseason game. Welcome into First Word presented by Dr. Pepper, Nicole Hutchison and Nick Harris with DallasCowboys.com. Nick, I've got to start with Trey Lance. 15 of 23 passes for 151 yards two touchdowns, one rushing, by the way. I mean, you got to be impressed with the way that Trey Lance really improved from first preseason game one to week two. Yeah, and I think it's stacking confidence, right? And we saw that in today's game. Uh, granted, the time of possession battle was a little weird at times, especially there in the second half. Las Vegas drives down the field, pick six, and then they drive down the field again. So Trey maybe didn't get as many opportunities as he had last week in Los Angeles, but nevertheless, he got those opportunities and he shined as the game went on. You could see that confidence really stacking in his throws, not only in the middle of the field, but also outside the numbers. That's where he struggled last week. So seeing that happen and seeing him get a couple of scores, definitely big for number 19. I think you can see that patience. That patience is the key word for the way that Trey Lance played today. Just not forcing throws, trying to make sure his receivers get to his spots. But that only happens when you have an offensive line, obviously, that is doing so well and blocking for you. When you talk about that offensive line, what were your thoughts today? Man, Cooper Beebe, how about him, man? He was in the middle of that offensive line. He was declaring before the snap. He was getting after it in the run game. He was setting his anchor in the pass game. He looked fantastic. His snaps were right on cue. Uh, we talked about early in camp about how Brock Hoffman had really taken a step forward to start camp in that center position. And uh, admittedly, I thought he had taken so far of a step that Cooper wouldn't be able to uh, make up the gap. But I think he's made up the gap. I think we truly have a neck and neck battle for that starting center position moving forward. It's going to be really fun to watch here in these final two weeks of training camp. Switching gears to that running back battle, you had Deuce Vaughn, who had been out for a hamstring for a couple of practices, missed the Rams game, but he had a spark in the second quarter actually really in the first quarter him Snoop Connor you saw Malik Davis get some action as well uh, how impressed were you with the way that Deuce Vaughn came out and handled it yeah the Deuce was loose for a little bit and Deuce was loose wait he, he was he was and he had a couple of opportunities there in the uh, in the first half to where he was able to get some runs and find some edges but it was that cutback ability that we saw the hamstring was fine and he looked great and this running back room it is in desperate need of a playmaker and he can he be that playmaker he has next week to still prove Prove that, uh, but tonight it was a really good showing for him to get back on the field and maintain that. I'd be remiss, remiss if we didn't talk about this Mike Zimmer defense. Five interceptions in two preseason games. Kemon Hall, just, I mean, he's got to be. That was crucial for him, especially when you talk about that cornerback position. Yeah, shout out to North Texas, Go Mean Green. Kemon Hall, he, he he read the pass, he broke on it, and when he caught it, he ran all the way to Reno, Nevada. I mean, he was he was gone from there. It's a really good story for Kemon Hall, coming from the UFL, having to earn his spot just to get into camp, and then he shined at camp, and then he had a really good night out here tonight. I, I really love to see that from the North Texas product. Cowboys head back to Oxnard tonight. A couple of more practice until they're back home in AT&T Stadium. We'll have all that coverage for you. Make sure to follow DallasCowboys.com throughout the week leading up to that game. But for Nicole Hutchison and Nick Harris, we'll see you all next week.